Hi. Um, um, I remember there was a question back in the day I, I saw in Rabbeinu Haim Palachi Sefer. It says, let's say if a fellow goes ahead and he wants to get a uh, cheeseburger. He has a ta'ava to eat a cheeseburger. And all of a sudden what happens is he's excited. He goes to, 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 to the restaurant. He's excited. Da -da, and they give him the cheeseburger. But they tell him, by the way, you should just know that the cheese is parp and the burger is kosher. Everything is 100% kosher. He after he ate it. The, did he do an avidah, yes or no? Again, a guy goes to the restaurant, he doesn't know. He thinks he, he's away on vacation, he has a ta'ava, he's, he's so excited and this and that and that. He walks into a restaurant, they give him a cheeseburger, and the guy tells him, oh, by the way, um, uh, he signs the check and he sees Schwartz, you know, after he signs the check uh, on, on the credit card. Mm -hmm. And the guy looks at him and says, you know, I'm also uh, Jewish, and you know, this restaurant uses all kosher because it's more healthier, and the cheese is actually pop. The two cents. <laughs> I want to know that this guy do a avon yes or no. At the end of the day, he gets to check and he finds out that it's a hundred percent kosher. Yes, he did. What do you think? Rabbi listen to this. This is beferush in the Torah. Where in the Torah? It says in this week's parasha. It says in this week's parasha. For example, let's say a lady, she made an edit, right? Oh, she's not wearing makeup. Her husband is not making wear up, makeup. What are you kidding me? You know, all of a sudden, the guy, the husband says, I nullify the nadir. I, 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 I nullify that nadir. And the wife didn't hear. The wife did not hear. The wife didn't hear. The next day, what happens? The next day, what happens? Like, you kill just like, hey, you want to think like, what? She, she starts, she wear, she, 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 she's not wearing makeup. She, wear, she wears makeup. So the husband says, by the way, why do you feel so bad? So because I swear I'm not going to wear makeup, and now I'm wearing makeup. She says, oh, no, I, don't worry about that. I nullified, I nullified the nether. I'm allowed to do that. The day I hear it, I nullified it. You're good. The, Gemara, the, the Torah says, Hashem should give her selicha. He says, why can't Hashem give her selicha? Because in her mind... She thought that she was going against her neder. She needs kaparat avonot. Rabbeinu Haim Palachi says, this fellow, even though he ate fully kosher, and he ate pop cheese, at the end of the day, he writes, this fellow needs kaparat avonot. He needs kaparat avonot. Why? Because a person has to understand his intention, his mind, his inside. Everything's in the intent. And this is why we have to be very, very careful. Now, imagine if the guy had intention how much kaparat avonot? If he knows he's doing the avon, he actually did the avon. Wow. So a person has to be very, very careful with this. Uh, how the intentions in our religion plays a big role. It says if a person wants to do a mizvah, right? Person's coming to knees, he's coming to shul. He wants to do a mizvah, wants to do a mizvah, wants to do a mizvah. And all of a sudden, what happens? His tire busts. He gets pulled over. He missed the minyan. He can't pay minyan. Kilu asa'a. Hashem gives him credit as if. All right? Of course, at the end of the day, people like. The whole life is all as if. Oh, I really wanted to be good. As if. I really wanted to do it as if. You're not going to get reward to be tzaddik when you get up there. But the bottom line is, you'll get some reward for the intentions. And I'll just conclude one last thing. They say in the name of Rizal Salanta, he would say that sometimes a person wants to, for example, do a very big mitzvah, he cannot. For example, let's say he wants to donate a yeshiva. Look at an example. He wants to donate a yeshiva, but he doesn't have that funds. You should just imagine, Hashem, if I had the funds, I would donate the yeshiva. Yes, it's, 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 it's as if, but it's not, he didn't do it. It's as if. You'll get, you'll get certain, you'll get certain, you'll get certain, you'll get certain, you'll get certain I'm not saying he's going to get the reward that donate yeshiva. For example, for example, if a person wants to be a chacham, right? He wants to learn Torah every day. Now, I'm not saying you're a chacham. I'm not saying just because you want to be, you're a chacham, you get rewarded. No. But I'm saying that one, that little, 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 little uh, intention that you want to be better, HaKadosh Baruch Hu counts that in Shamayim. That's what I'm saying. He counts that in Shamayim. And if a person wants to be bad, and he's thinking, Abira, I told you one time about the Malachim. How, how if, if a person would know, as soon as he's uh, uh, doing something wrong in his mind, he says he wants to do this Abira, the Malachim want to come down, and they want to beat him up. That's what they want to do. This guy's thinking about Hashem to do bad. They want to come and beat him up. 
So uh, over more so a person when he thinks good, when he wants to do good constantly, always have the good positive mentality. I'm talking about in a successful world anywhere. A person has to have a positive mentality. I want to do good. I want to do better. I want to do better. I want to do better. Like that, because everyone who sees your intentions, you'll get rewarded for that.